Welcome back. Let's play a 10 minute game on Shogi Wars. So, yeah, lately I have been doing a little bit of opening study. I'll be doing a bit more once I take a short, short break from doing free software development. More recently, I've been uh, working on some better Lee Chess and Lee Shogi, etc. integrations on Discord. And it gets better and better by the day, but uh, there's just so many details. Good luck. Um, let's open the bishop line and then open the rook line. Right, our opponent's playing quickly. All right, they're attacking over here. Let's resist over here. Um, hmm, I wonder. Okay, they're going to apply all their pressure over here. Maybe it's best for me to bring this up. I shouldn't allow this pawn to advance if I can resist it. Um, mm hmm. Okay, we're going to advance on the head of this thing. The timing of my attack is not right. But attacking is the correct motivation or motive. I should not just um, succumb to whatever they're throwing at me. Um... Hmm. I considered this last move also. The problem is it blocks my bishop's retreat. So I need to be cautious here. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right. Hey, welcome. So we're attacking. Oh, if I take that, I lose my rook, don't I? My big brilliant idea was that I was going to take this and then be up a pawn. That gets my rook trapped. Let's resist this way, then. Oh, your computer audio is once more broken. That's a shame. Um, all right, all right. So what do I do now? Now that I've gotten myself into this mess, how do I get myself out of it? Not very easily, I take it. But yeah, I think they could just push this silver up, and I don't have a good resistance. Um, the best I can do is retreat my bishop, and that's quite sad. And I have to take this. And they have multiple ways they can capture this. And my position is pretty dismal. Um, so I've done something wrong somewhere along the line. 
what or where, I do not know. But we'll try to connect my pieces back together. Uh, this knight is not defended, so even if somehow... Even if somehow I survive this, oh, my bishop can't go anywhere. I um, guess I'm offering up the pawn on my king's head, but then my rook can go over and take the knight. That would be weird. It just might happen, though. They take both of these pawns, I go over here and I take this knight, and somehow maybe survive. But... Uh, yeah. I mean, my idea was not a great idea. Um, Alright, we resist this rook. So they're eventually going to do something about my rook, maybe. Maybe not. Um, if I push this, they might take with a bishop. Hmm. Well. Alright, we need to resist this bishop. Uh, seems like a decent way to resist it. So, yeah, if I were playing a very high-rated opponent, I would be in deep, deep doo-doo here. Um. Hmm. Alright, so... Can't believe I'm going to do that, but wait. So they're threatening a silver drop here. I do need to take one turn to defend against that. If I push this silver, they drop a pawn here, I can chase their bishop. It's not a complete loss. Even though I lose multiple turns, I'm advancing toward their king, so it's, it's okay. Oh! Hey, look! A free pawn. All right, we can take those. As long as there's not some trap at the end of this. And there probably is. But the bishop's active, the rook's active. We've cut off their bishop, we've cut off their rook. So we've done something right this game. Uh, we've done a lot of things wrong, and this position's tenuous. But we've done some things right. Um, hmm. Interesting. Peace values are not so important here. What's important is activating all of my pieces. I can drop a pawn on the knight's head. We can drop a silver and a silver near the rook. Oh, we could actually drop a pawn here. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Probably should have done that a while ago. Also, I could push this pawn and exchange rooks. And My king is not secure at all. Not even close. So the more pieces I exchange, the more trouble I get in. I should learn something from that. So if I bring up the knight, drop back the rook, move up the king, then the king moves one more time. If I get four turns in a row, that I can do absolutely everything I want. Putting the knight up, rook back, and the king in might not be a terrible idea. That said, I'm not getting four turns. And... I have to make do with what I have. Um, just don't exchange the rooks. Oh. 
Interesting. Um, hmm. Go All right, let's defend my rook so I don't lose it somehow. This is going to be wild. I mean, I could have moved the knight, and then they moved the silver up, and that would have been something, but... Um, this could be something. Some threatening is sil- oh, that's check. I could have blocked this checking piece. What am I thinking? Alright. I just made this more difficult. If I dropped a silver here, I could drop a silver there next. So, okay. Well, a game is afoot here. Um, yeah, the silver drop is pretty stupid the more I think about it. I'm so excitable right now. Why should I be so excitable? It's just a game. All right, let's take a look at our next proverb. Drop where your opponent wants to drop. Well, maybe we've done that. Oh, also they've trapped our bishop. Um, so if I'm careless, it's completely trapped. So let's take this. But really, I should drop a pawn there like 10 turns ago. Or next turn. Or the turn after. <laughs> Really, any turn that I could drop a pawn here would be a good idea, until they push this. Once they push this, then the horse can retreat and take it, but right now, pawn drop would be pretty good. Okay. They're trying to win my rook. Um, my rook escapes. Ah, they promote. This was their other motive there. Um, hmm. All right, look, I finally dropped it. After talking so many times about, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. We've finally done it. Yeah, my position's terrible, but it's getting better. Okay, so let's approach the king. Mm hmm. Hmm. This was my idea, is to drop a silver here. But they've cut off their bishop, so I should just be happy about that. Um, there's more than one way into this position. I thought that I could just take this now. Um... I'm still learning how tactics work in this game. <laughs> I 
2分30秒。Alright, we're going to remove this gold general. It's been removed. Maybe I should have defended my rook. Probably not. So I have a very nice attack, and they've trapped their horse. That's a good idea.、Um, I'm not facing mate myself. Hmm. I'm scared as heck, but if I'm not mated, I should continue attacking. Or if I could remove this threat, that's not a bad idea, but.、Um... Oh, wait, I could take this knight. That would be a terrible idea. 1分30秒。Alright, I'm gonna fight back here. It's gonna take them a second for them to attack me, so I can defend right next to my king.、Um, every time I try to defend, they attack faster. So, this silver is hanging. Next, I can drop a pawn.、Um, this defends my king. This defends my king. And I should be okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take. Taking might be a terrible mistake. Gosh darn it. I'm bad at this. Thanks for the game. I apologize if I forgot to wish my opponent good luck.
I always should do that. Here we go. Thank you. What's our next proverb? Good luck. Yep. Another last minute win. Those are exciting for sure. Um. Hmm. Yeah, okay, you can surround my pawn, that's fine. I'm going to attack your bishop. Interesting. This is playable, I guess. I don't know why. Um, but okay. Hmm. Hmm. They can't resist if I place a bishop on this diagonal. Um. All right. So I'm attacking their knight, and the lance behind it. Yeah, my rook's hanging, but that's okay. What a weird position. If they move this gold up, I can drop a pawn. Uh, my silver is hanging, my rook is hanging. But anywhere that a bishop could fork these, the bishop would be prone to attack. Yeah. There's, I don't know any piece that could fork these without hanging itself. So, yeah, I attack despite my king being under very heavy pressure. Or not very heavy, but some... Pretty respectable pressure here. Rook takes should be scaring me. I don't know why it didn't. Alright, so they try to defend this. I could move this silver up to corner the knight. I mean, what else is the silver doing? I could drop a pawn, but then their knight attacks. So, yeah, this seems like the better approach. Uh, there should be a proverb which states you have a block, you should block with the lance two squares in front of the king. So the king has an escape route, or that an escape route can be formed. That makes some sense. I wonder if that would be too specific. But nominally, it, there's a good deal of logic to that. So if I attack this directly, they could drop their only pawn here to defend it. And it actually does defend reasonably well, and then my rook can attack 
All right, so pawns are good at resisting a bishop. If I push this pawn, they could take it two different ways, but then I could take back either way. Um, oh, if I push this, though, my, my silver is not as effective. If I move the rook over, they drop a pawn in front of it, I could take the pawn. Um, if I move it over here, where's their pawn drop threat? I don't know. Um, if I drop a pawn here to resist, yuck. Um, okay, this blocks both bishops. I think it's fine. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, alright. I call your bluff. I know it's not a bluff, but I don't care. This looks too fun. Wait. Uh, I might want to move the rook instead of blocking. Um. Alright. Do your worst. We're going to learn something this game. That way. Seriously? Okay. Um, sure, I guess. Hmm. All right. Let's see where this ends up, right? Okay. We are definitely in a place. Um, oh, my rook's hanging. The rook being hanging is not the biggest issue here, or is it? Okay, you can have the rook. It's fine. I've got another rook. Gofun. They defend their king. Hmm. 
maybe this would have been more accurate, because then I'd still be defending this square. I'm just paranoid that I'm going to drop a piece. I'm going to lose or hang a piece somehow if I'm too aggressive. Um, but no, this way I get to attack a lance. It's not... There's some logic to what I'm doing. The thing to be careful about is the bishop fork here. At a really bad timing, I could end up in a lot of trouble here. Um, hmm. All right, so I block the bishop. If the silver advances, I have this fork. And I didn't see a way they could... Oh, this does reinforce the attack. I just didn't see that. Does it successfully reinforce Something. that? I don't know. But it does reinforce the attack. Um... Oh, this hits here. I have to defend that. Hmm. Strange. If I drop this here... Hmm. No, nah, it's too slow. Okay. Oh, gold drop there is smarter because they're going to drop a lance to reinforce this yet again. <sighs> or rather, a gold drop here would have been safer. This takes greater risks. Um, whether or not that's a good idea to take greater risks. Um... I'm thinking. Okay, this knight doesn't defend anything. Let's use it to attack. Gotta move, move, move. So I've placed all of my generals. Just not my safest move ever, but get a bishop now. It's gonna take forever to break their castle. They could drop a rook. I missed that. They missed it too. Um, Ippun. I don't know how to resist this sucker.
The night helps. Nope. Hmm. The knight can defend, but... Oh. Um... Sanjubyo. Sucks. I've got to move faster. If I'm going to defend and attack, this is going to take an eternity to win. But their bish bishop is so well placed against... Oh! I have the typical Mino attack here, don't I? I should do that. There's part one of the typical Mino attack. I could have taken this gold. Absolutely should have taken that. Well, no. It's scary. It's not obvious. Um. Nijibyo. They defend it. I don't know what to do about that. Wailing about panicking is probably not my best answer. I don't know how to attack. Um, but I'm doing it wrong. That much we know. Thanks for the game. Jikangire. Yeah. Bummer. Um, you're right, though, that they're not going to fall for a trick like that. No, there was point. The point to dropping the bishop was that I was going to block their bishop from defending their king. Good luck. I just needed one more tempo to do such a block, and I never got it. Um, so they're not going to fall for that trick. But, um,. Yeah, it just speaks to how little I know about how to attack. So there was a second idea there, but I just didn't execute on it. That bishop was doing so well defending the king. Um, okay, well, how am I castling? Alright, let's build a castle this way. Is this the right castle? I don't know, but... Um, there we go. That's a castle. We found it. Now, Elmo Castle is designed to allow you to attack quickly, which is something I don't do. Um, so what do we do next? 
This looks interesting. You know, I should be reading more than if I'm going to play something extremely committal like this. Um. I should be reading whether this works or not before diving deep into it, especially because they have a heavy castle and I don't. But after the excitement of the last game, I'm wanting to make my moves quickly this game. So quickly I go. If I drop a pawn, no. How do Shogi Pawn Tsuji things work? Um, if I drop a pawn here, they take it. Ay ay ay. Pawn Tsuji are a mess. Let's unblock my rook. And the idea is not to break in on... Well, actually it is to break in on this file. Because the break-in will be successful. Sure, I lose a lance to a bishop drop. Actually, maybe that's not even true. So this silver blocks... Okay. That's sharp. Um, but I have something sharper. This is my idea. So they want to promote their rook, and I want to say no. And I think I win that argument. I'm not totally sure. If I promote my bishop, their silver runs. Alright, so I just keep attacking. They could defend this, I guess, with their gold general, which would involve decoupling this really nice castle they've built. Then I could promote here. Um, okay, so they defend their rook. Um, this is interesting. So now I attack this pawn. If they take there, I drop a pawn in front of the rook. I've been on the receiving end of this, so I finally get to deal it. That's a Tsuji. Um... Yeah. Yeah, anybody could, in theory, make any mistake. They just wouldn't remain the same rank uh, forever if they continued to make such mistakes. Um, Alright, so that's a Nana fork. I could, take, I could take all their generals for the price of one rook. I don't even have to pay the rook, though, because I can just defend this directly. They could drop a pawn. What a mess. So I could move the rook up. I could give this pawn and silver for a bishop. It's not worth it. Um... Let's start with this. This looks like an interesting starting point. They could drop a pawn, and then I could run the rook again if I really wanted to, but this time I might take everything. I just don't want to have a horse right there. Okay. Let's take one of these. Okay. I did not think beyond this, because this shouldn't happen. Um, let's 
Let's take the Lance, so I'm threatening to take the Knight with promotion. Alright, they threaten my silver and activate my horse. Um, hmm. They want to resist my rook. If I advance this and we exchange and they drop a silver, I take, they take back. Yeah, I don't have any way to win all their pieces. Um... Let's try to do something more aggressive. I'm starting to think, perhaps when you teach chess players this game, teaching them peace values might be a mistake. Chess players really like their peace values. And it's doing me such a disservice to think about how much each piece is worth. All right, I get a pawn. That pawn's actually somewhat important here. They get this knight, but then their bishop is going to be blocked. Okay, that's a fork. That actually matters. Um, I could take this pawn, get another pawn, but why? So I have yielded a rook because I wasn't paying enough attention. I was having too much fun. Um, that said, there's still things I can do here. I mean, yeah, I could take the silver, but it's not worth the silver. Getting my rooks forked was pretty bad. But uh, the important thing is to attack the king here. Hmm. Alright, so I get a gold general. They're gonna take this. And I can push back against their rook. I don't even have to drop anything to resist it. Something. I don't know how to resist this attack. Hmm. 
This looks as sensible as anything. Bringing the gold toward the king is probably smarter. But there's so many pieces buried in this corner, and I can win a tempo by doing it this way. I need to make an escape wall, or escape out of my wall here. This gold is a better wall than a castle at this point. Um, wow. Alright, never mind. We're gonna just checkmate them. That's, that's the plan. Just go mate the king. They are so insistent that we start our attack here. We're going to start it. Oh. That just hung a piece. Alright, piece values do slightly matter in this game. You don't want to just completely hang a piece for nothing. Um, um, at least I don't, usually. Gosh darn it. Um, so, what do I do? I thought that taking here would make my attack faster. Um, they have way too many pieces they can drop. I can't checkmate this thing if they drop all their generals around it. My attack is much too slow. I say as I retreat step by step, but like, there was not a mate there. Gosh darn it. Uh, they're gonna drop a pawn. Alright, that's a fork. I could have dropped a pawn. Should have dropped a pawn. A pawn for a move there is a worthwhile exchange. Can I could still drop a pawn there. Um. Hmm.
30秒うん。This is not good. This is atrocious. This is extremely far beyond not good. On the other hand, the, there are a lot of generals up for offer here. Jubio. Fuck, wrong square. Wrong square. Um, it's okay. Maybe it was the right square after all, and I just didn't know it. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was exciting. So, um, yeah. Learn to checkmate. These details matter. Especially in close encounters. Oh boy. So, yeah. I might have used the F word. I definitely meant it. It's unfortunate. This game brings out emotion in you, you know? But, um, the more you study, the less foolish you look in front of other people. But does that mean we study yet? I don't know. You know, if this weren't such a spectacle, would people watch it? I hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.